Hello, friendly wargamers. Welcome back to another great episode of Monster Hobbies Showcase, where today I will be continuing with our Queen Helgar army, and we will take a look at the Dwarf Quarrelers. Now, the Dwarf Quarrelers, of course, are armed with crossbows, and they have been very deadly in the past. My name is Trevor Ursulescu, owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada, and I'm glad you could join me once again for this great adventure. If you want to see what's available at our website, check it out at www.monster-hobbies.ca. And now without further ado, let's check on the Dwarf Quarrelers. Since the Dwarfs first came to the World's Edge Mountains, the crossbow has ever been their ranged weapon of choice. It will easily outrange the puny bows of the goblins and is powerful enough to drop even a black orc in his tracks. So here we have the Dwarf Quarrelers of Helga's army. And again, as you can see, they are holding wooden items and they have the wooden runes as they are living in the forest realm of Gairan in Age of Sigmar. Now these models were given to me sort of half built from my good friend James, but were never painted. So I did paint them in the colors of Queen Helgar's army, this time using Citadel Games Workshop paints and using that uh, six part process. Here we have our command crew, and unfortunately there is no musician for this unit. Again, this unit was built with 10 models, just prepared for Warhammer Age of Sigmar, and they are mounted on these round bases. You can see here our leader of the group putting in the quarrel into the crossbow, and he's got horns on his helmet as well. And then here we have the standard bearer, and again I use that sort of tree motif onto here just to make him blend in with the rest of the army. Each of the models in the Quarreler unit hold a crossbow as well as an axe and they all carry a buckler with an H on there for Queen Helgar. And again you can see the nice detail work in here. Uh, they do have brass bracelets because again in Gairan metal is not quite as common as you would think. Each of the models in this unit are wearing these long capes which I always love painting. These give them sort of a camouflage cloak appearance, which you would need if you were sneaking up on the enemy in the woods. Now on this angle, we can see more of the nice detailed work, another one of the Helgar bucklers. And on the base, this time I'm not using the grass powder stuff. I'm actually using some technical paint, which I dry brush to make it look like grass. Here we have four out of the eight remaining dwarf quarrelers. And as you can see, I've painted their beards in different colors, including blonde, black, brown, and even red. Each of their beards have these nice little runes put onto them on the bottom. And uh, a lot of these guys are just wearing chain mail. Not all of them have the capes, as I found out. But again, these all make up for a very nice unit. Now sadly, these dwarf corollars are no longer used in Warhammer Age of Sigmar 3rd Edition. However, we can enjoy them for what they are, and I did have a few good games out of them before they basically were phased out. Actually, they got phased out during the Cities of Sigmar book in 2nd edition, but they were still able to be used as compendium models, but now, of course, that is all gone. So if you have built dwarf quarrelers in the past, we'd love to see your pictures over on our Facebook page, and I'll leave the link for that in the description below. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed looking at the Dwarf Quarrelers. They were lots of fun to build. And if you can find an old box of those out there, build them. I mean, you can't really play them anymore, but it's always fun to build models. And if you want to check out our current models, don't forget to see us at www.monster-hobbies.ca to see all our available Warhammer items. We ship worldwide. Don't forget to check us out on Thursday nights right down here at Monster Hobbies where you too can join us in playing Warhammer Age of Sigmar. Like, subscribe, and share, and we will see you on the next video.